We know the work of this man, John Walsh. He's the hard-driving host and the force behind the long-running America's Most Wanted television show. There is evil that walks the planet. I mean, there is pure evil, and I hunt down pure evil. The show has been responsible for helping to capture more than a thousand fugitives and bring home many missing children in its several decades on television. This is a bad day for you. But sometimes, our life's work is a role we never sought, and that role becomes our finest hour. Get back in the ring. Fight for that little boy. Make sure that that little boy didn't die in vain. Go battle for that missing children's film. And I did. We met John Walsh at the headquarters of the America's Most Wanted television show in Bethesda, Maryland. Where they ring this bell every time a fugitive is captured. We sat down in the National Hotline Center, the room which receives calls from the public that leads to arrests based on information on the television show. John, you've been at this for a long time with the television show and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. You turned the most horrific tragedy, the kidnapping and murder of your young son, into your finest hour. What would you say you've accomplished? That first challenge was just to keep from dying of a broken heart, to, to, to slipping under the water. There you were, that close to that dying close. of a broken heart, right? That close. Right. And yet you rose up and accomplished a huge amount. It was really my wife who, who focused me and she turned around one day and said, you know, I think we have, and I think you, John, have forgotten who the real victim was. It's not you, it's not me, it was Adam. It was that six-year-old boy that went through the kidnapping and the torture and the murder. So let's do something about it. That something led to the TV show and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children the center interfaces with all branches of law enforcement in all 50 states. This is the latest technology that helps to indicate likely age progression of long-term missing children. Ernie Allen is the director of the center, which also trains law enforcement agencies about child investigations. Today, why are children safer and parents aided by the work that's going on right here? Well. Today, there is a national response to the problem of missing children, and the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children is the hub. So when a child disappears, law enforcement across the country responds immediately. Reports are immediately entered into the FBI's databases. We receive those reports instantly at the center, and we help to coordinate a national response. More children come home safely today than at any time in American history. And much of that is because of the legacy of Adam Walsh and the vision and the courage of John Walsh. If you had to look with inside yourself and say, I, I did it because once I got moving, I had this quality, what would that quality be? Fighting back of, of my father had the saying, and I say it all the time, saddle up, saddle up, and get in the ring. I boxed in college and played soccer, and and he always used to say, hit the bell. And, I, and people don't know what hit the bell means. It means if you're sitting on your stool in a fight and you're exhausted and tired and ready to throw it in and you think you're beat, you hit the bell and go out because sometimes the other guy doesn't make it off the seat. You gotta hit the bell. That fighting spirit has led to dozens of awards from law enforcement. Those awards are very, very special to me because I think they look at me as not somebody in the media, but somebody as a trusted partner, somebody that'll go that extra mile with them to get justice. Bill Sorokas is a federal marshal who has worked with John. The television show America's Most Wanted is a transformative show. It's using television for the public good. What else would you like to see the media do to help law enforcement? Well, I, th I think America's Most Wanted has done a, a fantastic job in portraying the crimes of fugitives uh, across the United States and into some other countries. I would like to see the, uh, that concept go more global. Roger Chung is the executive in charge of production at the TV show, but he met John under tragic circumstances. Back in 1999, my sister Joyce went missing here in Washington, D.C. It was a high-profile missing persons and murder case, and as soon as she went missing, uh, John Walsh and the America's Most Wanted crew sprung into action and gave it, put it on America's Most Wanted and gave it the attention that it needed to help law enforcement to uh, get some good clues. How does it feel to be executive in charge of production now? I'm so glad that I took, was able to take my sister's tragedy and transform it into my new life mission here. It's a great reward. 
for all the people who've been watching you all these years in so many different capacities, just, just for fun, tell us one thing about yourself that you don't think people know. That I have a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm a wise guy. And, uh, and, and I do laugh, and I do enjoy life, and I, I, I feel that I'm blessed. You know, you've worked with uh, four presidents. The walls are lined with accomplishments. What would you say is your most significant accomplishment? The beautiful children I've been blessed to have, and the wonderful wife who stuck with me through all this stuff. I mean, my father used to say, having children is the toughest job in the world, but it's the best job in the world. And uh, I've been blessed with four beautiful children and a wife I'm still married to after 40 years. I think that's very impressive with all that you've done for society that it comes back to the, the family unit, John. It's, it? it's, it's a blessing. John, I want to thank you for being with us on My Generation and for giving us insights into your life, which has been your finest hour. Thank, thank, you. thank you for having me. Honored to be here, Bill. The passion that you see of John on television is, is true. Uh, it is a bit uh, uh, held back for TV purposes, but that passion that he has to support the victims in those cases is, is actually how John is. John Walsh's heart of gold and his determination and his ability to triumph over a tragedy has really led him to his finest hour. Demand change. That's what John did. And as a result, he didn't get his own little boy back, but he made millions of American children safer. John Walsh, in his finest hour, answered the bell.